Now, China's economy has continued its recovery from last year's coronavirus slump with strong growth between April and June. But the uh, National Statistics Office is still warning of uncertainty in the months to come due to new strains of COVID-19. Well, let's find out more. We're going to speak to our business editor, Stephen Carroll, who joins us now on the programme. Stephen, what have we uh, learned then from these latest figures? During the world's number two economy is continuing a strong recovery from uh, but also that there are still problems that lie ahead and uncertainties that could cloud the second half of the year. China very much looks like now to have had a V-shaped recovery, a short slump at the height of the coronavirus outbreak there last year, but a strong recovery since. The latest figures showing growth of just under 8% for that period from April to June. That's compared to the same period last year. And if you see uh, what happened in tracking over the past year, there was that slump of over 6% in the first three months of 2020. But the recovery started almost immediately since then. So the overall trend shows us that the recovery in China does seem to be steadying out at this stage. The latest figures helped by a boost in consumer spending, retail sales uh, in the month of June in particular. That's good news if consumers are getting back to shopping as well. But the Statistics Bureau did say that strains of coronavirus that we're seeing emerging around the world could make the picture more uncertain in the second half of the year. China will also uh, be affected by things like the rising prices of raw materials. That could affect China's key manufacturing industries and chaos in shipping as well. We know the shipping industry really hard hit by the pandemic and a number of other factors made it difficult to get products around the world. Those are the sorts of issues that could upset China's recovery for the rest of the year. The country on track though to reach its target of 6% growth in 2021. So, Stephen, how does China's experience um, compare then to other economies around the world? So China was the first major economy to see its uh, self-recover to pre-pandemic levels. That's because of how quickly it was able to control that first outbreak and also the strict measures it was able to put in place to control subsequent outbreaks of the virus. In the United States, by comparison, the world's biggest economy, the slump lasted a little bit longer last year, but it's also recovered now to pre-pandemic levels. In Europe, things are taking a little bit longer to recover because of those second and third waves of the virus that caused more lockdowns in the area that uses the euro. We're expecting those 19 countries to recover to pre-pandemic levels by the end of this year. A similar picture in France where the government has just upped its growth forecast for this year to 6%. But of course, all of what happens in the rest of the year depends on what happens with the virus, with the vaccination programme and whether the economy will be able to function at normal levels. The current picture shows a recovery by the end of the year. But of course, as we know so far with this pandemic, that could all still be upset by further developments with the virus. Stephen, thanks very much. Stephen Carroll, our business editor, joining us there.